All right, so like I said, I said I was gonna post a video on YouTube, and I am. So right now, what I'm making is a vegan pizza. All right, so just wanna show you guys how to make a vegan pizza. Right now, I have fresh pasta marinara sauce. This is marinara gato sauce. I love this one. Now be careful that you do not get the vegetarian one because the vegetarian one is not vegan. So right now, I'm about to open up the sauce. Just grab a basic spoon. And you know, the cool thing about cooking, honestly, is cook the way that you feel comfortable. You don't have to have all the fancy, cool kitchen gear. I'm not trying to be funny, but I grew up in the hood and we never had a cutting board. Like, for real, we're cutting on like napkins and stuff and whatnot. So I like this sauce because a lot of people um, sometimes are underneath the um, impression that you can just throw regular a regular can of spaghetti sauce <laughs> I mean not spaghetti sauce a regular can of tomato sauce on a pizza and you're gonna get a pizza no that sauce that most pizza restaurants make is either usually a family secret or for the most part <laughs> look at me making a mess but that's okay because I'm just gonna transfer it right into the oven and it's gonna cook just like that but for the most part most of these sauces are, are, are mixed in with like tomato sauce, tomato paste. So if you want to make your own tomato sauce and you don't want to buy it, you want to just save yourself um, buying some tomato sauce, then you can get a can of tomato sauce. You can get a can of tomato paste because the paste is going to make it thicker and not so soupier. And then you can even dice up your own tomatoes or actually buy diced tomatoes and throw a few of those in. And then add your regular basic seasoning, salt, pepper, um, whatever else it is that you really want on your pizza and then you're gonna cook it like you would regular spaghetti sauce and voila so right now I'm just layering the sauce on I don't want too much sauce and I don't want too little sauce I think like just for any pizza whether it's vegan or not the sauce ratio is so important because like right now this is a pretty thick piece of dough let's put it like that so I want enough sauce to where I'm gonna be able to taste the sauce but it's not gonna soak through and I don't want too little to where I'm just tasting bread and cheese. So one thing that I like to do with my pizza is I like to put basil on it. I like to mix up the cheeses because I think that's super cool. So I have some fresh basil here. I'm going to show you guys some fresh basil right from Whole Foods. Normally I grow my own, but in my hydroponic system right now, I actually have lettuce growing. So I needed that more during the... <laughs> winter than I needed uh, basil but nevertheless got some fresh basil here and one thing I like about basil basil is so fresh like there's nothing like fresh basil and I'm sorry to keep laughing because it's like a lot of people they don't understand that like cooking is an art and sometimes you might not really know if you're an artist like the thing about cooking is it's, it's like dancing like not everyone can dance but everyone can dance. Everyone can do their own dance. So that's the same thing about cooking. Not everyone can cook, but everyone's going to make a different dish based off of what they like to make. So I'm putting the basil on there, and I, I like basil. I'm a basil lover, so I'm, I'm just like going crazy with the basil. Putting the basil on there. Yes, I am adding a little bit of cheddar cheese. I think cheddar cheese on pizza is okay. I know some people go crazy when they see the yellow and not not I not I said the cat I I love color color means flavor every cheese whether it's vegan or not has a different flavor remember cheese doesn't taste the way it tastes cheese is made through a process and then it is technically flavored to taste like pepper jack or it's flavored to taste like Swiss so or that's more so the process that it undergoes but cheese itself really doesn't have a flavor so Technically, you have to understand that whenever you're making any dishes with cheese, a variety of cheese is going to give you more flavor unless you're trying to achieve a particular taste. So I'm putting that on right now, and I'm a cheese person. Like, I'm from New York, so when I ate my pizza at um, from New York, I loved cheese. Like, I would always pay for extra cheese, and if I couldn't afford extra cheese, I would be extremely sad. So what I'm going to do right now is I actually made these cool chicken strips right here and I'm going to actually take these chicken strips and I'm going to be pinning them on top of the pizza just like you would a pizza that comes with meat on it I've already like shredded them up you can further shred them up if you don't want them like all big and bulky on your pizza it's really up to you for my daughter since she's in the process of losing her teeth I'll probably shred it up for her 
So another cool thing is if you're in an area um, where they have some really good vegan cheese, because vegan cheese is different depending on where you go, believe it or not. Like when I used to live out in California, in San Diego area, that cheese, they had this bomb vegan cheese out there that was just so amazing. You know, so definitely shout out to San Diego for having amazing vegan cheese and just, you know, California in general is just ahead of the curveball when it comes time to just my opinion being vegan. You guys are out there in California, check out this restaurant called Veggie Grill. It's literally, I'm not going to say it's like McDonald's because it's not, but it's fast food, but vegan. And I'm actually going to be going out to California this month and I'm going to be shooting a review video on it. I'm going to be trying some things off the menu as well as bringing some people down there for the first time to try the whole vegan lifestyle. So it'd be cool if you guys subscribe so you can check that out. And just, you know, before you dive into this, get other people's opinion about really what it means to be vegan. So this is my secret recipe. My Yoko's mozzarella cheese made from plants. Now, when I say my Yoko's is ahead of the curveball, I have to do a whole review on their products because they... They engineer this stuff. Like when I say food is like an engineering process, it is like, but the way that they make this is basically the same way you would make regular cheese. So in that perspective, it's really, really, really good. It's really good cheese that's been really processed well. They're cultured vegan butter. It's like the same way you could have margarine or you could have butter or even butter and then like nice made butter that's real nice and creamy. That's this right here. This is like the top of the line vegan butter right here. And, you know, like right now, you know, I want to do a cream cheese review. Oops, drop that on the floor. I want to do a cream cheese review. And I'll put, um, you guys got to subscribe so you see that video. But this is a diet cream cheese style spread. And this is the Mayoko cream cheese style spread with chives. This is really, really good. And it's because of the way that it's processed. So stand stand by for that because I'm going to have a total stranger test that and let me know what they think. I might not even tell them it's vegan. I think, you know, I'm getting ready to start that whole series. I can't believe it's not vegan. Where I'm going to start cooking dishes for people and I'm not even going to tell them that it's vegan. And they're going <laughs> to they're gonna be like, wow, <laughs> I can't believe it's vegan. So stand by for that. That's going to be, in my opinion pretty darn cool because you'll be surprised when you hear a lot of people say that they can't believe that certain stuff is vegan so I open up the cheese and kind of like the same way you would get your mozzarella cheese in a block they try to follow that same imitation a lot of people feel comfortable when things remind them of what they're familiar with and the same way you would pit and be careful with the blade the same way you would put regular mozzarella cut up on your pizza you're gonna do it that same way you're just gonna cut it off, cut your little pieces off the way that you would normally do your regular mozzarella because it's gonna melt down like real mozzarella cheese. That's why when I say I love this, like I love this. It melts down like real mozzarella cheese. You feel like you're really at one of those top-notch restaurants that give you like your mozzarella in these little blocks. You see what I'm saying? Because most restaurants won't give you your pizza like this. Your pizza will be shredded. You know, and that's the cool thing I like about this being vegan. Check this out. Do you guys see what I'm doing right now? I'm literally making a gourmet pizza for dirt cheap. Like when I say gourmet, dirt cheap, like, you know, no disrespect to cheese, but this is more expensive than good cheese. This Mayoko's vegan cheese and it's worth it. You know, a lot of people want to go vegan because it's a healthier lifestyle. And I'm all for that. I encourage that. Like, from my family's perspective, definitely. We've done a 360 going vegan. Uh, you know, my child's father lost 50 pounds within the first year when he cut meat. And I myself, I've never really had a problem with excess weight, but I definitely have had a problem with energy. And I can definitely say I've got a lot of my energy back being vegan because I'm not spending so much time digesting food. So, boom. This is a gourmet pizza. You guys are more than welcome to come over here and try some if you want <laughs> okay this is like delicious and if you're out in the california area and you got yourself a little bit of cannabis oil what you can do is you can take your chicken 
your vegan chicken or if you want to do vegan beef crumbles you could do vegan sausage i mean there is just so many ways that you can top this and you're like what do you mean vegan beef crumbles what do you mean vegan sausage well let me just show you guys real quick i don't make the video too long vegan beyond burgers that can be made into beef crumble what do you mean sausage vegan beyond sausage that can be made into sausage to go right on top of your pizza the same way you would make a regular hamburger the same way you would make a regular sausage so what i'm going to do now is just add a little bit of seasoning on top pop this bad boy pop this bad boy in the oven i'm weird i like a little bit of paprika on my pizza because you know why when you make your own pizza there's really no proper way to make your own pizza this is gourmet pizza do you understand what i'm saying Gourmet pizza. And I like, you know, that's oregano. Another cool thing. Check out Santos Organic Farms. I'm going to put a link in the description below. A lot of these spices I actually grew in my garden last year and harvested them. Rosemary, basil, sage, harvested them so that I could use them now. So this is really fresh seasoning. Like, fresh. Alrighty, I think we're done, and that's, I, I, I love Tomatoes it. melted down real nice. Vegan chicken got real nice and crispy. I actually sauteed it before I put it in. So now, I'm getting ready to see how it cuts, see how the cheese breaks up, and just overall, I guess you could say, see how it tastes. Should have a pizza cutter, but I don't know where mine is. I don't know why I was going so hard in there. Thinking that, I thought it was gonna be hard. It feels nice to cut. It's not hard at all. Now, that's a plus, cause I don't like when my pizza crust is too, too, too hard. And then I'm just gonna cut it into little pieces like this. Then I'm gonna grab me some vegan ranch. So it's easy to cut. See that melted cheese right there? Look at that. Yes, that cheese is cut in. Pizza's cut in. Let me move the camera up a little bit. Perfect. I want you guys to see that cheese melting. My daughter tore hers up. She ate it already. She already got her dessert. I cooked it right in a little toaster oven. Didn't waste too much money on electricity at all. I mean, not electricity, gas. Electricity is a little easier than gas. Especially depending on your house, if you got good ventilation or not. I personally just, you know, the oven is, is a bigger capacity. So I try not to use it as much because I don't need to have all that heated up. So that's why I like the little toaster oven. This one um, is actually a, con a convec an air fryer convection oven, I think, pretty much. And if it's like, a, you know, a pizza, it's pretty deep. Um, I'm probably going to put that on my Amazon home front store. Just because I think that's a good buy. A really, really, really good buy, especially if you're vegan. Because you'll realize that when you go vegan, you're not cooking as much meat. And you don't even have to cook your vegan meat, like, long because it's not raw. Mm -hmm. So you you don't even, like, a lot of recipes, you just, unless you're making, like, something particular, you don't have to use the oven that much. So I'm going to just give this a taste and we're going to see how this tastes and give Fat Boy over here a bite. Hold that. All right, and we're gonna get his reaction. Okay, hot. It's hot. How hot is it? Really hot. Okay, so you might have to wait and blow it off like a little baby. Put some ranch on it. Cool it down. Yeah, that'll definitely mm. cool it down. So we got some vegan ranch. Definitely love this vegan ranch. Um, <clears throat> it's high in mono saturated, mono and saturated fat, which is good. A lot of condiments are just saturated fat. So, who needs all of that? Right. So, we're gonna basically see how this is. I'm excited to say that. I, I can tell you. I was. Oh, you heard that crunch? Mm hmm. Because you always talk about you like the thin crust because you like the way I it crunches. Crust. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Oh, it's delicious. That's three cheese spreaders. Magnificent. <laughs> Now just a little bite. 